Welcome to another educational video from Confidence Global here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today we are going through this important topic, what is the best method to upgrade your Odoo from one version to another? This is mainly for Odoo.sh and enterprise version where you have in-premise hosting or you have like on-premise on DigitalOcean or AWS or anywhere. Okay, so this is kind of a list for a do's and don'ts so that your, your upgrade project will be completely successful. Number one, make sure that there is no code injection on your current version of Odoo. If it is there, then your upgrade will be problematic, so you need to take care of that first. Number two, you need to make a flowchart based on the dependencies of all the different custom modules. So if A is depending on B or C, you know, you need to find all the dependencies, put it like a flowchart or a diagram so that you definitely know where to start your work. Number three, just make sure that those custom modules that you're upgrading, make sure they are not actually a standard feature on the new version of Odoo, because if that's the case, it's better for you to transition the customer to use those standard features on, on Odoo. Number four, you have to give the database for migration to uh, odoo.com slash upgrade while you are simultaneously working on the on the uh, converting all the modules to the new version. I say that because there's a long wait and there's a lot of people, you know, like waiting on the line and, you know, there will be complexities and you need to make sure that it takes anywhere between a few weeks to three months. So you need to make sure like you give the database for upgrade. Number five, you need to stop all kinds of further development on the current production version of Odoo. The only exception would be any kind of bug fixes. Number six, really important. So do not expect that when you get the database back from Odoo, everything will be seamless, plug and play and everything. You need to plan accordingly to have some extra time. So when you actually promise a timeline to the customer, have some buffer time so that if there is some problems with the database that you got back, you can work with Odoo to fix it. And also if there are some things that you need to make within the environment, especially server and everything, you have enough buffer time. Always remember one thing, it's always better to under promise and over deliver. So if you feel like your best case scenario is like hey, three months for the upgrade, I would say like keep it like four and a half months. Like it's okay if you deliver like early and your customer will be really happy. I really hope these videos are helpful. Once again, if you're watching it on social media, please like and share. And if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell too so you will not miss another video from us. Once again, Thank you everyone.